100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with the girl Erin Rain. A happy hum day going out to everyone that's tuned in. Got that CJ Whoop T in the mix. Right about now, the time's 11.30. It's all about chat trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media, man. So we gotta talk about Miss Aunt Jemima, DMX, and what's going on with Mr. YFN Lucci. But Aunt Jemima has been around for years from actually 1888. Yes, if you didn't know, it's been around that long to be exact, and it is considered to be a household name. But after years, the name is finally changing to Pearl Milling Company. It was announced in June that it would rebrand because Aunt Jemima's origins are based on a racial stereotype. So it's good to see that they finally turned around after years. After being around from 1888, they finally decide to rebrand. I'm just saying, the year 2020 definitely did change a lot of things, and this was really one of them. But the new logo is slated to appear on store shelves this summer, so look forward to it. So once you see the Pearl Milling Company, it's still on Jemima, and you won't see, um, because it actually had a slave on it. But you won't see the slave, the female slave on it anymore. So it's good to see that, honestly, they made a turnaround with this one. But talking about Mr. DMX, following his versus battle with Snoop Dogg, he did express that he was inspired to return to the studio. And for all the DMX fans out there, he's now got some unexpected collabs on his ninth album. Now, he did not say exactly when it will be released, but I'll be sure to keep you up to date with that. But I'm super excited to hear some music from DMX, man. It just seems as though all your favorites from back in the day they're coming back and they're coming back harder seeing that this new generation is still i'm just saying sampling their music anyhow so they might as well just come back <laughs> so actually um dmx has collabs with pop smoke and griselda now he did say it's possibly pop smoke is going to be on the album but i think most definitely he probably will and i can't wait to hear that dmx and pop smoke you know collaboration because both of them have that really really deep voice so i'm super excited super ecstatic about it so like i said i'll keep you up to date with it but mr wyatt and lucci of course you know um yeah he was involved in a murder case allegedly and he just was released from jail on a five hundred thousand dollar bond so we're gonna see what happens with that and i'll keep you up to date and let you know what's going on but it seems as though a lot of these artists a lot of these rappers they're just finding themselves in a whole lot of mix-up when it comes to um sexual assault charges when it comes to these murder cases when it comes to whatever it's just a lot well drug cases as well but um that's kind of expected in the music industry uh but it's like I don't know what's going on. I'm just hoping the best from him, and hopefully he really didn't have much to do with it, but I'll be sure to let you know more on that. But that's it for Chat Trap, letting you know what's happening right there. Oh, just before I leave, yeah, the Jim Jones situation and why he was ready to fight Lil Wayne. Um, basically, I, I think it's just Lil Wayne just took a few lyrics from him, and, you know, because Jim Jones considered himself the weatherman, and Lil Wayne just gone ahead and said that he was the weatherman in one of the songs. And, yeah, that's really about it. So I thought it was going to get a little bit juicier than that, but, man, it's pretty just um, surface-based. But that's it for Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media, man. Jumping back into the mix right now. Gonna get into that Janae Iko featuring her BS.